What's up, guys? Mike Mendelson here, and I don't often make MMA take videos, right? But I had to following this most recent UFC 307 pay-per-view because I think we're seeing a change. And I want to credit someone in the business who I have a ton of respect for. Uh, I've You've seen her on this channel a couple of times, and that's the great Laura Senko. Uh, discussing UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira, and the effect that he has had in the business. Um, when you talk about Alex Pereira, right? I think he's changing what it means to be a UFC superstar. We are, a lot of us got into this, whether it be fans, maybe even some media like myself, got into this right around the rise of Conor McGregor, where then we saw a lot of, you know, copycats. Everything's a copycat in today's society. So we saw a bunch of fighters trying to follow the, the same trail that Conor McGregor went down. The call outs, the entertaining interviews, all that, the the brashness of Conor McGregor. And then the aura goes down as you lose, unless you don't talk. And Laura Senko said something uh, following the most recent episode of Dana White's Contender Series while talking to uh, Dana White. And she referred to it as the halo effect of Alex's stardom. And we've seen several people kind of either get brought into the UFC spotlight or get brought into the UFC based off of either their training or previous history with Alex Pereira. Obviously, you had the Israel Adesanya storyline with Alex Pereira, which is how he really got fast-tracked. And if you would have told anyone that this guy would change the landscape in the UFC when he first got in, I think people would say you were wrong. I think people would say he's only here to take out the biggest cash cow in Israel Adesanya, or, or, or he's only being sacrificed for Israel Adesanya. Nope. Alex Pereira is a bona fide superstar, and, and furthermore, he's a bona fide Brazilian superstar and yes, he's got his trademark Chama, right? And he did the whole when he knocked out Jamal Hill. But Alex Pereira is a guy who has changed the narrative of what it means to be a UFC superstar. We've kind of gotten out of the phase of the Conor McGregor's of the world, the loud talking. Now, now granted, I take nothing away from what Conor McGregor has done in his career. But when you start to lose or when you're away for a while, like the UFC is a business, right? It's that hamster wheel. It's never going to stop spinning just because one star gets off or one star leaves, right? There's never not going to be. Ronda Rousey, oh, God, what are we going to do without Ronda Rousey? We've had Amanda Nunes. Now Amanda left. And Kayla Harrison has arrived. No matter if you liked her fight at 307 or not, she's here. Alex Pereira is ushering in the next chapter of UFC stardom, and that is show up, fight, win, answer the call, show up, fight, win, wash, repeat. That's it. Sure. It's maybe there's the language barrier that people can say, obviously, you know, he doesn't speak fluent English. He has a translator, his code, like all of that, right? But you cannot take away. From the fact that Alex brings views, Alex brings eyes, Alex brings attention. Oh, and Alex brings finishes. We don't have to worry about, is Alex Pereira going to have an exciting fight? No. The answer is always yes. It's Alex Pereira is having an exciting fight. It's not Alex Pereira is fighting. Alex Pereira is having an exciting fight. And there's likely going to be a finish. And he's usually on the winning end of it. I mean, in his last five fights, Jan Blahovich, Yuri Prohaska, Jamal Hill, Yuri again, Khalil Roundtree, all game opponents, all spectacular finishes. It is truly, truly amazing. Now, I know he went to decision the first time against Jan Blahovich, but since then, Round two, round one, round two, round four, right? He is not just a guy who's going to show up every once in a while. He's also at the later stages of his career. 
Like Alex Pereira is not a, a spring chicken. At 37 years old, time's ticking. And when you talk about Alex Pereira and what he's meant to the UFC, you also have to discuss the fact that Alex Pereira knows where he's at at this stage of his career, that he's not going to be around forever. So enjoy him while you can. A lot of a lot of these guys, if you came in to watching the UFC around 2015, 2016, newsflash, a lot of your superstars are either gone or one foot out the door. It's it's just the way the fight game goes. They don't last forever. So Alex Pereira is ushering in this new era of superstar. And, and obviously trash talk and entertainment, right? This is the sports and entertainment business. This is no longer just sport. You have to be as entertaining as you are good. Alex Pereira is just that. Alex Pereira is not only bringing in this less talk, more action phase of superstardom. He is the star of the UFC. He saved multiple cards this year for the UFC. He is prime appointment television when he is scheduled to fight. And I don't need press conferences. I don't need face-to-face interviews. I don't need him and his opponent sitting in, you know, the same room. I don't need any of that. I need Saturday night, Alex Pereira, Poetan, in the octagon, putting on the performances that we have come to know and love from him. And then Chama. That's a superstar. And now you're seeing anyone he touches, whether it be as a teammate or as an opponent, they're starting to rise. They're starting to get more, more attention, more conversation about them. Alex Pereira is different, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Pereira is the superstar that will get more people talking because you just want to see him fight. That's it. Talking and trash talking and back and forth and all of that that we've come to know and love since 2016, 2015. That's all great. It's funny. It's entertaining. But in the sports side of the entertainment business, you got to show up. You got to produce. And Alex Pereira does that time and time and time and time again. He's the biggest star on the planet. He's made the most of the UFC platform. And he's bringing others along for the ride on their own journey. Enjoy Alex Pereira while he's here because he won't last forever. And uh, maybe the next superstars to come through the UFC will follow that. Talk if you want. But show up as often as you're called. Win as often as you show up. And thrive every time you win. Because that's all Alex Pereira does. I'm Mike Pendleton. Follow me on Twitter or X at MP2310. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. We'll have more MMA interviews, more football content, all of that good stuff. NBA around the corner, so get ready for that. We'll do all that here on this channel. Keep it tuned here. Follow me on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I'm very easy to find. Until next time, we'll see you soon, everybody.